welcome back in this video we are going to work on the updates of a user profile so let's get started the api is already complete right so when you click on this pencil button here we want to render a form and it's lucky for us i've already prepared the form for you if you go to templates and we have the update profile for this component so let's head over to the pages and users and paste everything the component here update profile so let's go ahead to render that so let's come back to the app all right here and then let's require the update profile component there we go and this one let's protect it so you can copy one of these ones <coughs> and then change this one to update profile and then let's bring in the update profile component and you need to log in before you can update and there you go so let's try to render this component and check it out there you go update profile so when you click on this one something will happen so the logic is that when we click on a link it will send us to this form and this form you want to pre-populate the existing data of the user right so that we can either change it or just click on update and you're good to go so like i said we have two ways of doing it but the simplest way is that i just want to make one api call just to get the user details sorry the api call to update or we can make use of two api call one is to fetch make a request to fetch the this particular user by id and then we fill this fill this uh, input with the previous record and then when we click on this button again we want to make another api call or action to update but the easy way i found was that to be able to get the user details here inside this component we can make use of a react router dom and that router dom will, will send us the, the data to this form and we can grab from the router state and then we can place it in here and with one with one api call and click on this one then it will update right so how can we get here make sure that this path exists so make sure that when you go to profile and you click on this one you want to render that component so let's go to the profile right let's go to the profile there's the app and let's go to the profile page yes and then um where do i have the pencil icon yeah it's here so this is where um yeah on click here we just have, have the button called edit so let's use history.push right so um what i did um was that i just created one function for navigation but let's do it in this way all right so like i said um let's remove this one and show you you see that i just passed in cover function and here i call history dot push so when you're pushing i want to send some data to the next component so i pass as an object like that and the first one going to be my path name where the path name and the path you can guess is update profile all right and the data i want to send to that is on the states right so on states we can add our own state called user so on this component i believe we can get back wow this profile has no no i'm not sure i'm, I'm on the wrong component oh sorry i'm on template once oh sorry guys not here all right not this one not this one not this one I was a bit confused because I have two components here. So inside the, this profile, yes, yes, yeah. All right, <laughs> sorry guys. So <clears throat> this button, yes, there we go. So let me do from scratch. So when we, when we click on this button, right, we want to send the user to the um, update profile component. So I make use of push. So like I said, for this push, we can send some data to the next component making use of path name and the path name and the path name is is it update profile yes i remember update profile 
okay now if you want to send something to the next component you provide a property called state and here we can add our own property to state to the next one so here i think we have access to the user now we are grabbing the profile so we can get the user off right so let's check our store we have users and we have the user off here this one so we can grab the user off here user off here okay and here too you are not checking for loading so you will do that don't worry okay so here we can send the user off so on the on the next component we have access to this user off right this user as a property so on this form make sure that you are on the right form right so let's go to the update profile and when we come here you see that i've already destructured the component here but let me remove that to start from clean sheet okay so here we have the props <clears throat> so now let's try to console log the prop console.log the props okay so when this component mounts let's check it out so when we click on this button here and let's check the console you see that we have objects and this object we have location and we have state there we go you see that on this state we have our user so now we can pre-populate the form with this data without us making another api call or action to fetch this data that we need all right so now the next thing is let's handle the form input the what do you call it the username last name using formic so we can guess we can go back to registration of a user and then we can grab those formic data so we need this formic this one so let's go to update profile bring it here oh we have job already here for me so i need the use formic uh sorry register use formic is here and let's bring the use formic here and then let's create a validation schema copy this one and then come here and paste it here and then inside the formic here we also have this one so let's copy the formic form and then inside the one this one let's copy that okay yes we have it so now uh, we don't want to just update the password so i just want to remove that let me check the first and last name we did so why do you have an error this part is not defined yes so let's grab and you can also guard the whole state because when we dispatch it we have the same user loading and user off right so we can also place it here yes and use selector let's bring in those use dispatch this one and bring it to update we did this one we have done this so many times so if i'm moving fast sorry for that and then let's create instance of use history is not defined so let's bring use history also here and there you go okay the last one going to be the action now this action is not registered but instead update profile so check it out so now let's handle the form input right as you can see that i've commented them here so here for the first name let's uncomment it we are handling the value on blur on change using formic and then let's display error on comment this so i'm moving fast here because we've done this one when you're updating working on the update of a uh, income or expense so this is how we handle form using formic right i just i don't want to make some repetition that is why i'm moving fast here this time around so you can pause this video and then do them from scratch okay so now the next thing is that when we want to pre-populate this into this form and remember that we have the user here inside this prop right so remember it was inside location so what we can do is that we can quickly destructure that so here on the location right we have states so i can do another destruction and get the states 
and for the states i have the user so we can do the inline destruction or you can just make use of const and say that um it's equal to props right in case there's props over there and then you can destructure location okay and then what you can do is location dot state dot user right so i just want to make one line of code that is inline destruction so here inside the email i can now use the user dot email and then we have first name user dot first name and last name gonna be user dot last name so let's see well uh it has defined already where is it oh this one i've defined the user here already so let me call this one state so i don't have yes and then i call this here i state okay so let's refresh it and now oh i don't have the data inside the form so let's console log the user here if we have the right data coming in to this component if not our destruction is wrong so let's check it out let's open the console we have the object here yeah we have it well still not getting the value um okay let's check again let's check so maybe the problem might be from this one. Oh, I got it. So the problem is that if you do the inline destructuring and then you go down deep, at the time of this component mount, there is no value on this user. So let's destructure up to states, right? Let's get a state and then make it state.user, right? So let's bring it back to user. <laughs> Sorry guys, this user. And then let's get back to the user here. Okay, so now when you console of the states, state.user we have the the data we send back to this component all right so the, the reason is that we want to wait the state if there's a value on the state then we can place it inside this okay so let me move this one so here just add state dot user and then state dot user we have it state dot user and here we have what state dot user okay, like this okay so let's save it and let's see what we have let's refresh it you see that now we have it but sometimes to by the time this component mounts for example if you're making http call to your back end to fetch this particular user at the time this comp this the, the user will be fetched uh, uh, formic has already been initialized so to tell it to reinitialize again when the data is ready you pass in enable reinitialize to true <clears throat> okay this is for the back end if you are fetching the data from the back end okay so now we have our data back inside this so now when you click on this button we want to what we want to dispatch an action to update the user right so let's come back to here and now let's go back to the Let's go back to Redux and where we have the slices and let's check the function for update the action. And the action is update user profile. And remember, this one takes what? An ID. Uh, let me see. We are getting the ID from the. Yes. Where is the profile? Yeah, so the ID you also get from the API, so there's no need to pass in the ID. Remember that for the let's go to the back end. <coughs> Let me show you the server one. The server. Whether we are on track, controllers, users, and user profile. And let's scroll down for the update. And there we go. You see that we are getting the user from the request body, so you only need to pass in the payload that is it okay so here let's bring in update it's called update user profile action so update profile action there you go so all i need is what um on submit here let's bring it back 
on submit here i pass in my app function and i pass in the values and i'm good to go so make sure that you add this one the on submit handler to for the form okay so let's try it out so now moment of truth let's click on that and check no no action being called the action is not being dispatched i think our form okay so let's quickly oh here the password failed so let's remove this one okay and try again and reject it it says that not found oh so you have to check <coughs> it's api users profile not found so let's check our action and is user profile so let's it's correct user profile api is not correct user profile put user slices is called update user profile well let's check again it says that the route is that exist again rejected api user profile not found so let's go back to postman and check if uh, oh sorry for the postman api is api users update right so it's update so let's come back to our action and users update okay all right that is it so let's check it out inside and try to dispatch the action okay so click on that and now update for field okay so now let's change this one to let me say some some eight done eight and admin eight update for field so now let's go to the profile and there you go that's changed some eight done eight admin eight has been updated